It doesn't matter which way you turn the Dendrobium Hibiki. Or maybe this way. Welcome everybody to Subscribers Inspire and Blooms for You. Dendrobium Hibiki is really, really showing off now. I just gave it a little bit of spray with some water. I thought I saw some little white things, not mealybugs, but they didn't look like pollen to me. So I just doused it off. But let me start by saying one thing regarding Subscribers Inspire. Everybody that has been on this channel, please understand I am here for you. And that is why I do these bloom dedications as a thank you, because I don't know any other way at this point in time to show my appreciation for your support. So I'm going to introduce an acronym. It is the acronym for NINJA. Never in need, just ask. Does that make sense? Never in need, just ask. So this is what I also want to make sure that is, if the message hasn't come across early days, I am here because of you. And if there's anything you would like to know regarding your orchids or anything that I can be of any help with, I can't tell you that I know everything. The orchid hobby is a learning process, but I can surely pass on what I have experienced in the past growing orchids in several climates and different setups and pass that on. So Ninja is never in need, just ask. And I hope that you will take that on board and let's get the conversation started. I am here for you because you are all here for me, for which I thank you very much. So let's get started and look at what other things have been in bloom or are still in bloom. My basket of goodness just keeps on going. No complaints here. Whoops, we've dropped the bloom. That's not a problem, Hakuna Matata, because Spike 7 and 8 have now opened and Real Mac 1, those are for you. I've come this far with my Neo. I'm keeping the spikes totally separated and allocated. And despite the fact I have cut off one and two because they had yellowed and died back and just for aesthetics, I want to be able to present you and dedicate my seventh and eighth spike to you. Real Mac one, thank you very, very much for your support. Thank you so much for being on my channel. There's another bloom gone. I really appreciate it. And I hope that uh, you can see how the progression of Neo Phoenicia Rainbow Forest and its colors gives this wonderful, wonderful little display. Months and months and months because spike number nine is only just opening now and everybody is extending it has a sequential blooming habit. Its fragrance is getting more and more intense, obviously, as the blooms open and by their numbers. It is quite, quite an amazing spectacle. And for the longevity of these blooms, yes, they fade a little bit, but it still is absolutely gorgeous to be able to see how contrasting this little basket of yum is. So my fragrance is definitely very tropical now. Definitely on the honeysuckle and the frangipani side. Absolutely spot on. I think it's marvelous. And the pollinators have loved it as well because look, I have a seed pod. I had nothing to do with the seed pod. It just goes to show how these guys attract the pollinators with their sweet fragrance. Sometimes I have to be a bit careful because there's a lot of pollinators around this one and just sticking my nose in randomly without checking what's going on could prove dangerous. <laughs> but anyway, Real Mac One, thank you ever so much for being on my channel. I hope that you see this video and know that you have been recognized.
Ligia. Ligia, I know that I saw you. You are on my list. I cannot find any comments to relate to at this point. I am ever so sorry. But Ligia, you are on my list. And my van der Leffert Jan, not being its official name, but that's what I'm giving it, has opened the third spike of the season. And for the first time ever, I have two spikes on the go at once. So on your left, there's the second spike. And on the right, it's the third spike. I think this Vanda is slowly coming onto its own. Um, at the beginning of the season, I could see four spikes trying to push and none of them made it, bar one. But now it has the strength and the maturity to hold on to two spikes, which it makes for a beautiful display. It has a very subtle fragrance, maybe too many blooms, and it hasn't got the energy to push out what it normally smells like. It's very subtle. It has a very sweet, pleasant floral fragrance with a hint of dust, is all I can call it like that. But uh, just for the spectacle of two spikes on the go at once, Ligia, I want to say thank you so very, very much for your support here on my channel and dedicate my third spike of 2020 of my Van der Leppard Yarn to you. I think it's pretty, for lack of a better term. <laughs> I'm, I'm in love with this orchid. I'm so glad that I still have a Vanda to show for. My other ones, my big ones, are struggling. I don't know if they will be around, but a little one like this with such a beautiful show, yes, I can accommodate that. And I'm very happy, Ligia, to be able to give the third spike to you and say thank you so very, very much. Hello, hello to Athens. Hello, Braso Katlea, Nani Puakea, Dogashima. Hello, Alan. Alan Parsegian or Parsegian. I just thought that maybe a cool white spearmint fragrant Brassocatlia would be the perfect orchid to dedicate to you as a thank you for being on my channel, for your wonderful comments, Alan. I really appreciate it. And here is spike number one, two, and three. So spike number two only has one bloom, but spike number three also has three blooms and they all opened at once. And Alan, I had her pegged with your name on it for quite some time when I saw the buds open first, because Athens can be marginally hotter than Spain. And I thought a cool white would be perfect for you to say thank you. And I was very surprised that the fragrance has a spearmint flavor, not peppermint. I think spearmint, that chewing gum that you can get a little bit sweeter and a little bit on the milder side, but definitely, definitely spearmint, a minty fragrance, which is very refreshing in the summer. Alan, let me just say how much I appreciated your comment regarding my foul video because it was quite a yappy, talky chit chat video. And I see what you're saying that it's possible that in my climate, my complex fouls should not be in semi hydro. I am a Capricorn and I will keep trying for as long as I can. And if then they are all gone one day, so be it. But having said that, your comment was very enlightening. I recognize that it's possible that in my climate, they do need to be more exposed to the air. So thank you so very, very much for that. I really appreciate it. And for that and many, many other things, this beautiful bloom display goes to you, Alan. I appreciate it. I hope that you're having a wonderful start to the September. 
and that everything is going well in your part of the world and that you are safe. Thank you for being on my channel. I really appreciate it. Look who's back. Sologny Lime Bay. Second spike, third bloom. This Sandra O is for you. Although I have to say, I'm so sorry. I cannot offer you a double bloom. To say thank you for your support on my channel does not mean, it doesn't mean a lot to me. It just means that the repotting has actually affected the first spike of which we managed to get 12 blooms out of, if I remember correctly. But the second spike is holding on and Sandra O. Oh, one bloom doesn't express how much it means to me that you are supporting my channel with being here and subscribing to it. And thank you so much for your comment regarding my Vanda Tessalata Black. I can tell you that since then, you may have seen a Vanda video and the Vandas are struggling. Very dry, very hot summer. So there have been some radical changes. So yeah, but I appreciate the fact that you showed up on my comments. And here is my Sologeny Lime Bay, the bloom on the second spike that I would like to say blooms for you and say thank you so very much for your support on my channel. I really appreciate it. I hope that you're doing well. Speechless. <laughs> I'm here, I'm here, I promise. I just thought to uh, give it a moment without me interfering with the beauty of this little orchid. This is uh, for you, Susanna Yu. And this is my first ever blooming of a Rapiculus Lelia in my orchid career journey. Susanna Yu. This is Lelia Regina, and it is a very, very zoomed in shot because I wanted you to see some of the details that this little cutie has to offer. No fragrance whatsoever, but I thought it would be nice to start with a moment of silence and gawk in awe at these gorgeous, gorgeous little blooms. They do look a little dirty, don't they? Well, at least it's a consistent dirty look. They are a creamy white, not exactly a pristine white. Here come my fingers, look. Look at how tiny these are. That's why I had to start with, with a little bit of silence. Susanna Yu, I have been waiting for this little spike to open. I, I, can, I, I could have waited another day, but uh, I just wanted to do this because I didn't want to push my luck. One has just opened this morning, so there's a little bit more time before she flattens out, but four blooms on my first spike, are you kidding me? So let's zoom out. There we go little bit more. It's not quite one-on-one, -on -one, but now you can see I have another spike coming. So I didn't want to push my luck, Susanna, and I thought it's best get this on record. Make sure the blooms are safe. Nothing's been nibbled. No pollinators have been there yet. And say thank you to you for the wonderful exchange. Yes, and the fun we would have in a garden center. <laughs> yeah, 
I really appreciate having you here. It, it really, communicating with you on the comments, yes, I, I enjoy that very much and your support is so much appreciated, Susanna. So little Lelia Regina, my first ever Rapiculus Lelia to bloom in my collection. She blooms for you. Thank you so very much, Susanna. Okay, orchidmatch.com. I think I'm gonna trademark that. I'm gonna match people with the ideal orchid and see if it works <laughs> because you won't believe this. Recently, I found out that somebody lives in Amsterdam and I think you know who you are and you see the color. I couldn't believe it when I saw your comment. Live Rock 62. I have had my golden peacock tagged with your name on it since I saw the spikes come up. I had no idea that you live in Amsterdam. But look at this Oranjebom or something like that. <laughs> Isn't that a match made in heaven? I am so pleased when I saw your comment, I just I just leaned back and went, no way, that's impossible. But I love it when moments like this happen. I really, really do. That, it just makes my day. So, Live Rock 62, my Pro Catavola Golden Peacock, quite rightly blooms for you. Because why on earth not? Isn't that an orchid match.com made in heaven? And here's the thing. This is the one that I would possibly divide come, I don't know, spring next year, depending on the timing, because of the Leodoro that had already been spoken for when you requested and asked about it. So I don't know if you have Pro Catavola Golden Peacock. If you do, well, now you have a story to tell. But if you don't, and you would like to have a piece when I'm get ready to divide her, then Live Rock 62, you are very, very welcome to get a division of this orchid. In the meantime, I'm getting quite distracted. I haven't even thanked you yet, but of course she blooms for you because of all your support on my channel for being here right from the get-go, for being so enthusiastic about things, for your encouraging words, for your patience with all the hiccups, where I always say, c'est la vie pour le newbie, but you know, all of that. I really, really want to thank you. And for that reason, here is Pro Caravola, Oranje, Golden Peacock, blooming her little head off for you. Thank you so, so much, Live Rock 62. Perfect match. Well, thank you. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Dendrobium hibiki blooms for all of you. Anybody that's watched this video, thank you so very much for taking the time to spend it here with me and my orchids and looking at some blooms and their dedications. I really appreciate it. And don't forget, never in need, just ask. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Take care. Bye.